why don't you use your seed wisely there are five seeds that gives you five fruit number one is called the fruit of Christ. The seed for the fruit of Christ which is souls. It's prayer. You pray to get souls. Another seed, say seed number two. It's the fruit or it's a seed that produces the fruit of the spirit. Now this seed is called the word of God. The more you read the word of God, the more you're going to produce the character of God. Fruit number three. Fruit number three, I like to call it the fruit of men. Now, what is the seed for the fruit of men? It's children. It's a relationship. It's a lifestyle. The seed for the fruit of men is to be a Christ like individual. Be in a relationship like a person who fears God. You, you will produce good fruit of men. Another one is called the fruit of our hands. Say the fruit of our hands. Say the work of our hands. What is the seed that produces the fruit of our hands? Say look at your neighbor, say work. You can't get paid if you don't work. Work! And then you will have the fruit of your hands. Don't say they are not jobs. Do this. Move, do this. Do this. Here's your job now. Here's your job. Here's your job. Here's your job. Get up and use these things. And the fruit is going to come. Fruit is an income. Fruit is a salary. If you have not received money this week, the question what were you doing last week if you did not get paid this month what were you doing last month say the fruit of our hands is work now, now as you work the Lord can bless you. There are five ways to get the blessing. Or there are five types of blessing. Number one, there's a God, God's blessing. When you give to God, God opens the windows of heaven. He bless the works of your hands. You, you, are the one who gets, you are the one who gets a promotion. Because you give to God. The way to give to God. It's through tithes. That is number one. To get the blessing. Number two. You get the blessing from giving at church. Look at your neighbor say, Sondela. As you are giving to church, there is what, there's what, what you call a blessing of increase. Give bountifully. You're going to receive bountifully. Ask your neighbor, have you been receiving bountifully? The key is to give bountifully. If you don't have money to give, don't you have clothes to give? Don't you have anything to give? Give! It will be given. Another way to get a blessing is number three. Give to your parents. Parents will give you a long life. Long life 
healthy life long life where you enjoy prosperity ask your neighbor said neighbor when was the last time you gave to your parents I'm waiting for an answer say unlock listen it's, it's supernatural this thing Basalwan. Yeah. you do one two three how can a man in the bible he makes a soup for his father and the man becomes the richest man just by making food things of the spirit are unique the more you give to your parents there's going to be a long life I say there's going to be a long ministry I say there's going to be a long marriage I say there's going to be a business that lasts longer the, the key is not prayer the key is to give to your parents you have to give to your parents when your parents come to your house let them be free to open a fridge uh, let them have the kids yogurt it's okay <laughs> take them where you wanted to go for a holiday you will receive a long life you will receive a long marriage they will wonder why you marry and never divorce you, you've been taking care of the old man you are taking care of your old woman the number four way of getting a blessing is to give to your preacher how do I know we are not so giving to the preacher at this church? I happen to be a preacher. So I know if you give to your pastor because uh, I mean, I know if I'm given something. <laughs> Can you interpret? We are live. <laughs> Tithe is not pastor's money. Church offering is not pastor's money. To honor your parents is not even my money. If you want to give to your pastor, ask him his bank account. And put the money in a bank account. Funny enough, the Bible doesn't tell you how much you should give even 10 rand is still going maybe I won't get a notification but I mean it's, they give to your pastor so what does the pastor's blessing what is the pastor's blessing Ezekiel 44 it says if you give to your preacher he will cause the blessing if you give to your priest he will cause the blessing to rest in your house God opens the windows of heaven giving a church it increases your money giving a church increases your money giving your parents gives you a longevity your pastor causes the, whatever blessing you've received to rest in your life the last way to get a blessing is giving to the poor look at you and say unlock I'm teaching you kingdom ways but you can't say I did not understand. If you want to unlock prosperity, it's not unlocked by praying in tongues. You might get the power and the zeal to give, but you have to do the actual giving in order to open the door. It's not good enough to cry in the presence of God. What's important, what you do after crying. It's not good enough to come and attend the church. The question is, what do you do after church? Touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor and say, this is powerful. Say, unlock. Now, blessing number five. 
is called giving alms, giving to the poor. You can give them a simple bread that costs 10 rand. The Bible says if you give to the poor, you are borrowing heaven. How many of you borrowed the kingdom of God this week? If, if you give God if you give to the poor 10 rand, God will not just return the 10 rand. Heavens has the ability to give you a 30 fold. Heaven has the ability to give you 60 fold. Heaven, Heaven has the ability to give you 100 fold. A lady called Tabitha got sick and died. Because of her seed to the poor, she was resurrected from the dead. How many of you gave this week to the poor? A man called Cornelius. He gave so much to the poor until there was a memorial in heaven. Memorial in heaven are not made by tongues only. Oh, it's not fasting that makes a memorial in heaven it's not serving a church that gives you a memorial in heaven evangelist it is not preaching and winning more souls that gives you a memorial in heaven the Bible say giving to the poor will make a memorial in heaven the question is how many poor people have received from you? I know I'm preaching good. How many poor people have been blessed by you? Who can say I am blessed because of this believer? Shout, unlock! You unlock the blessing by doing things. Bazalwane, it's not the shouting business. We can come and do all night prayer of unlock. You realize that there's nothing unlocking. You unlock by principles of the scriptures. Do the word. Let the word do the miracle. Can we stand? I want to pray. The power to unlock comes, it comes from consistent prayer. Consistent serving. I'm going to say it again. The power to unlock it's consistent prayer. It's consistent serving. Consistent learning. Power has opened the door. Your lack of knowledge has kicked you out of that house. So we're going to pray three prayers at once.